Hello, this is Bern, and if you've ever wondered if you should take a guy back and under what conditions, you are in luck, my friend, because that's what you and I will be discussing today. Hello, this is Bern. Welcome to your great life TV.com. Today is another edition of Get the Love You Crave, and today I'm going to be sharing with you under what conditions and should you even take a guy who messes up back. Here's the situation, a guy you really love or you're really in love with messes up in a big way. He says something he shouldn't have said, he does something he shouldn't have done and you feel really hurt inside. And now that you feel hurt, you start missing him and he comes back and you're wondering if you should take him back or not. I'm gonna give you today three questions you must be willing to successfully answer if you want this to last long term versus have something that's gonna be even more painful in the future. First question you need to answer is why are you taking him back? I'm being completely honest, if the number one reason why in your heart of heart you're taking back is because you believe that you will not find someone as great in the future, that is the worst reason to take someone back. If you're taking the guy back because you really love him, that's the wrong reason to take him back. Not that love is not important, but love is not enough. He needs to love you and respect you in addition to you loving him. So be really willing to answer this question and come up with a long list of reasons why you want to take him back. Second. Uh, question is what has changed? Has he felt your pain deeply enough? Does he understand how much it hurt you? Does he have the capacity to create a change? Are you in love with this man's potential more than you're in this love with this man's reality of how he shows up in the world? Because here's the thing, unless something has dramatically changed, including him feeling your pain at the deepest possible level, this is going to repeat itself. So you have to be willing to answer that question. If that hasn't taken place, he needs to work on his own shit before he comes back and tries to reconnect with you. He needs to find that answer. He needs to be willing and able to share with you what has changed and how he's gonna do things differently. Third question you must be willing to answer is what are the new boundaries you will have to set up so that you can safely share your heart with someone without risking getting hurt at the deep, deepest possible level? Of course you're still risking getting hurt, but can you do it smarter? Can you have different boundaries? Can you have a way of communicating and expressing your truth when you start feeling like something's off instead of shutting it down like you used to before potentially, and that's why this thing happened, to really express your truth in the moment. Setting new boundaries, letting him know what your worth is in the moment versus waiting a couple of weeks or a couple of months until something shitty has happened again is crucial for you to be able to determine this. So again, I'm not anyone to be able to tell you right now, you should leave this guy, you should stay with this guy, you can make this decision on your own, but without answering these three questions, it's gonna be really hard. So, if you like what I'm sharing with you right now, I invite you today to sign up to my free video series, Three Bulletproof Habits to Connect to the Man You Want in Nine Days or Less. You can do it very quickly through signing up below. Super simple, if you're watching me on YouTube, or uh, yeah, on YouTube, just click like on the YouTube <laughs> like button, subscribe to my channel, add a comment below, and I look forward to connecting with you through my email list, through videos, through the comments, Thank you so much for allowing me to share this with you and I challenge you as always to live a full and conscious life.